it's Stanislaw Robert Liberta here with a quick tip about using live text templates in After Effects and Premiere. Here's something that I have very common in my everyday work is a lot of times I'll be making lower thirds or some different graphics in After Effects that I then need to put into Premiere. So I've got this lower third here I put together for my friend Chad over at Allerton Avenue and Jeremy for a little project we're working on. And you can see here I've got my logo and the person's name, email, name of the show, whatever. And all these can be changed to whatever I need to. And go ahead and put that over here, etc. And what I would normally do is render this out and then bring it into Premiere Pro. However, ever since about 2014, we have live text templates in After Effects. I can actually bring in my After Effects composition right into Premiere. So here's that same lower third I just brought in here. If I play this back, hey, there's that same information. By bringing this into Premiere, I don't need to render out a copy from After Effects and then bring it in here and then animate it. I can just adjust this on the fly and change whatever I need to change. What this would do currently though, is if I go in here and I change this to, let's say, Jeremy, and I'm gonna go ahead and put this here, Allerton Avenue, and if I go ahead and I hit save, you can see that that's immediately changed. That's great, except what if I have multiple titles I need to bring in here? Unfortunately, that's not gonna let me change this out every single time. What happens if I'm working with somebody that maybe isn't the best with After Effects? If I pop into my After Effects here and I open up my comps, you can see I've got a lot of different things going on here and this might be a little confusing for some people. Especially if I'm just working with an editor, I don't want them mucking about in my After Effects file and then, you know, getting a call later being like, hey, I screwed this up, can I fix this? In 2014, we have live text templates and what this does, I'm gonna come up to my composition, composition settings, and under advanced, I've got this new text box here, template. Unlocked text layers are editable in Premiere Pro. So I'm gonna go ahead and click this. I'm gonna hit okay, I'm gonna hit save. So now that's saved this file, as a text template. So if I pop into Premiere Pro again, you'll notice that if I double click this guy, it, there's my graphic. And if I come up to effect controls from my project panel here, I can actually change all this information. So type in Jeremy and we'll put in his fake email Jeremy at AOL.com. We all know that's fake because nobody has AOL anymore. You can see I just have some formatting issues I need to do here so I can go back into this After Effects project. Pick this guy and we'll just make sure that that's left aligned. And same with this name of show. And I'll just go ahead and hit save. And notice that this is my original here. It has person's name who's on the show, their Twitter email, a name of show and character. But in Premiere, it went ahead and it changed this for me. Now, this is really interesting because if I bring this in again, and I'm just gonna bring in my lower thirds again, you'll notice that it's asking me what I wanna bring in. So I've imported this and I'm saying, hey, bring in the lower third title bar. And now I have another one here that also has person's name who's on the show. Now I'm gonna go ahead and rename this one Jeremy, and I'm gonna rename this one Chad. So now I can actually have two different titles based on the same title here. So my editors don't have to pop into After Effects at all. All they have to do is copy and paste whatever they want in here. This is beautiful for me because it's always gonna be the same. And if I need to change anything on my end, I can change the After Effects file. There's a couple things you need to know about if you're gonna be using this though. If you want your live text templates to work, so if I double click here and I wanna import this, you're gonna notice that I get this 
composition window here. You have to have Premiere and After Effects be the same version. So for example, I'm running 2015.3 in both After Effects and in Premiere. If there are mismatched versions, this won't work. So make sure of that. Secondly, if I go ahead and I bring this in, if I drag this on over here, and I double click it and I want to affect my controls to change the titles, you'll notice I don't have any of those options. Once it's in your timeline here, it treats it like a flattened video layer. So I actually have to double click it here in my project window and bring up the effects controls. So that is how you can access your live text templates. Instead of having to render out multiple copies of this title with different people's names, I could just bring in more instances of this over and over again. So there you have it, live text templates in Adobe Premiere Pro from After Effects. My name is Stanislaw Robert Liberto with AV Ultra, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>